Finally, I got my full Cropovich exhaust system. And check this out, I also got my DynoJet PowerVision 3, which will flash the ECU on my MT-09 and also hold custom maps. Uh, so no need to send the ECU off to get flashed. This will do it. Um, I will be doing a separate video on this product, so stay tuned for that. I do have a link to this product and also the full exhaust system in the description and comment section of this video, but you can always go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on my mods, and those are links to all the mods I've ever done on any of the bikes I've ever owned. This is the carbon edition. All right, what's this? All right, part of the header pipe. All right. Yeah, check it out. The header pipe here. Okay, hey, look at that. Looking prop out. Oh my goodness. That's gonna look so sick on the bike. The bracket here, nice. This is the Akrapovich exhaust bracket. <laughs> Let's install it. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please refer to the product manual for all instructions. By the way, if you haven't seen the first part of this build series where I install a low profile fender eliminator kit on this bike, go check that video out. I do have a link to the fender eliminator kit in the description and comment section of this video because this tail is looking nice and clean, man. This bike is coming along. But the first order of merit here is to install this Akrapovich exhaust system here and we need to get this stock exhaust off. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and remove the sensor here. Next, remove the six headers flange bolts. Next, remove the two exhaust hanger bolts. There's one on each side of the bike. Now carefully remove the stock exhaust system. Eighteen pounds nine ounces. Nine pounds two ounces. So that's a nine pounds seven ounce weight savings, and the fender eliminator dropped five pounds, so that's a total weight savings of fourteen pounds seven ounces. Okay, now let's get back to the install. We're gonna remove the bottom rear set bolt and loosen the top rear set bolt. And now we're gonna loosen the top rear set bolt. Don't remove it, just loosen it. So we're gonna be removing this stock spacer here and then we're gonna be putting on this Akrapovich spacer bracket here. And we're gonna be using the, uh, the stock bolt and nut. Okay, we tighten this bolt to 65 pounds feet of torque and these two here at 25 pounds feet of torque. Okay, next to install the headers and when we put on the flange bolts, we're, just, we're not gonna fully tighten it till the end. Okay, so let's get it on here. Okay, just make sure you just do them slightly hand tight. Okay, now we're gonna install the sensor, but I have to put on some uh, anti-seize copper paste on the threads here. Okay. Okay.
Okay, now we're gonna install the press-on nut on the link pipe. See here? Just slide this on. Okay, there you go. Okay, next we're gonna slide the link pipe onto the header, attach the springs, and then we're gonna mount it using the stock bolt. It makes it easier if you put the bolt in first, don't fully tighten it so that it's in the slot, and then wiggle it on here, then put the springs on. And just take some pliers to pull the spring into place. There you go. Now we gotta do the other side. There you go. Okay, now we tighten this bolt here to 16 pounds feet of torque. All right. Okay, now we're gonna position the carbon fiber clamp and slide it onto the muffler. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna slide the muffler onto the link pipe and attach the springs and this bolt, which is provided with the kit. Okay. There we go. All right, now let's attach the springs. Okay, now we gotta do the other side. There we go. Okay, now we gotta put this bolt in. Okay, now we tighten that to 16 pounds feet of torque. Okay, now we can go ahead and fully tighten these header flange bolts to 16 pounds feet of torque. When you're finished, double check and make sure all bolts and nuts are tightened to the specific torque. Also, when you're finished, clean all of the grease spots because this will prevent spots from burning onto the surface. Now that we have the full Akrapovich exhaust installed on the bike, we need to flash the ECU and put on a proper custom map. And that's where this DinoJet Power Vision 3 comes in handy. So stay tuned for that video, which will be up Tuesday, July 28 at 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. I'm gonna show you how to flash the ECU with this device. Super easy, guys, it's awesome. You don't have to send your ECU away anymore to get flashed, you can do it yourself. And also, I'm going to do a review and let you know if this bike has completely transformed into a beast with this new exhaust and the ECU flash. Stay tuned. It's going to be an amazing video. Right now, let's listen to this exhaust and see if it sounds proper. Does that sound proper or what? Just wait until you see my review on my now fully modded MT-09. Will there be redemption? Stay tuned and see. Don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel and check out my other channel. Book out moto. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto. Yeah.